Hi, this is Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com, um, part two on how to buy a home. Well, I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to explain how the real estate agents get paid. Real estate agents and brokers get paid strictly commission when we sell a home or a property, be it a lot, residential or commercial, it's strictly commission. So we don't get paid until we do all this work and then we get paid. We don't get paid, you know, I guess that's how everybody is. You work a week, 40 hour a week, you get paid. Well, we're not guaranteed to get paid. <laughs> commission is a whole different ballgame. I've lived this way for years and years and years and years. It's a lifestyle you just kind of get used to. It's all right, but that's why we get paid so much because you really have to know how to budget <laughs> for one and have faith that you'll get paid. Um, because a lot of times you do all this work and then you don't get paid. And that's what's really kind of crazy about being a real estate agent. That's how it works. Why does it work that way? I don't know who made that one up, but that's the way it works. So, let's say, how do I get paid? In what amount? Well, commissions vary from property to property. Um, and it's what is, is, is negotiated between the listing agent and listing agent or broker and say the seller. The sellers usually, um, the, the commissions are built into the price of the home and which is fine, that's how it works, it's, that's how appraisals are, that's how, how it is, that's, that's the way the world turns. And the reason why the um, listing or the seller pays the commission is because buyers are working hard enough to get that down payment up besides having to pay a commission. Unless they're paying cash, then they actually should pay the buyer's agent and cut off the price at the top. It always, that works better if you run the numbers. But because you can't borrow money to pay your real estate agent, but you can borrow money to buy a home and then the seller pays you, that is how um, uh, we get paid. So through the sales price of the home. So let's use just round numbers. Say it's a $100,000 property and you get paid a 6% commission when you make an agreement with the seller saying, I will sell your property for 6%. Out of that 6%, it is divided between the listing agent and the selling agent. And the selling agent is usually the buyer's agent, the person that works with the buyer. And the listing agent is the person that works with the seller. And so any property out there listed, we all have access to it through our multiple listing service, which is called the MLS. And we look in the computer and we're all collaborated together of all the information that's in the computer with the Association of Realtors. Um, we put our information in. If they have a new listing, the listing goes out to everybody. If anybody's working with the buyer, say like um, ABC Realty lists a property, I'm looking for my buyer, it'll pop up at me saying, hey, this is a house, and if it fits the criteria of the buyer that I'm working with, I will show the property. I will be offered 3% of that 6% commission. Okay, so from that 3% commission after closing on the property and doing all this work, then I get paid. After getting paid that 3%, I split that with my broker who pays for all my printing and, or I do too, I pay for all that too, but that's just how it works. So you split it with your broker of whatever you negotiated with them. A lot of times it can be 50% or 60% or 70%, whatever is um, arranged with your broker of how you get paid. So then that cuts that back down, we'll use round numbers again, and that 6% goes to 3% because the selling office gets paid 3, the listing office gets paid 3, and from that, at the listing office, the broker will get half and you get half. So you get 1.5% of the sales price of 100000 you know, so you figure it out. Um, that's what, $1,500? So there you go. That's how it's broke down. That's how it works. Um, plus your expenses. A lot of times it can be a little bit higher than that because if you're more experienced agent, you do negotiate a higher commission split with your broker. And if you're less experienced because you take a lot more time training, um, then you get paid um, less from your broker as far as your commission split with them. But that's how it works. So it gets split and split and split. Um, and that's it. So, that's how real estate agents get paid. Hallelujah. When a closing happens, we get paid. And if a closing doesn't happen, we don't get paid. And so that's why we get paid so much because we keep the faith that something will happen. <laughs> um, you know, 
know, it's nice when you have lots of closings, when you're in business a long time, in the area for a long time, usually you just have it rolling because that's how business is, working on a daily basis. Um, you do work a lot of hours, 40 to 60 to 80 hours a week when you're a real estate agent. If you're working, selling a lot or even selling a little, you're always working, working, working. So you do earn your commission. Your real estate agent does earn the commission. The listing agent earns their commission most of the time, not all the time. Um, um, they're the ones advertising if they spend more money on advertising. Um, personally, I, I, I do that differently. I do input fees and hourly fees, and that's a whole nother ball game. So I will explain that later, but how you can list a home. But right now we're talking about how to buy a home and how real estate agents get paid. And so that's how we get paid, through commissions and how it's split apart. Thank you for watching. Um, we'll go to the next one, which will be lending. Um, what kind of different loans there are, and what is a FICA score? All right, thanks for watching. Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Have a great day. Ciao, ciao.